Okay, so what we're going to learn today is how to create some bullet holes, just like these ones that you're seeing here, which is basically just like that there. Now, the first thing we want to do is create a new image, and I'm just going to create it somewhat large, so probably 800 by 600. The bigger you create it, like the more bullet hole effect, the more detail it will have. So I'm just using the black to fill that there. And then just using the rectangular tool here and using the fill pixels option, I'm just going to draw, well, first change to white and then I'm going to draw a white rectangle. And then I'm just going to go into filter, stylize wind, and I'm going to select from the left here and wind. And if we move this across, you can see that that's what it's going to do. And then I'm just going to apply that again and one more time. And now what? I'm going to do is go into image, rotate canvas 90 degrees clockwise, so it puts it at the top there, and then we want to go filter, distort, and select polar coordinates, and select the rectangular to polar option, then hit OK. Then we want to invert the colors by going into image, adjustments, and invert, so it changes it black to white. Then using the magic wand tool, just click around it first and then select inverse and then just holding shift just keep clicking on the center okay a few times then go edit copy and edit paste to paste it onto a new layer and then you have your bullet hole there now you can just duplicate those there just by dragging it down to this button and then using the move tool for each layer just like that. Now, to add a bit more effect, you can go into the blending options and give it a inner shadow, so it looks like it's sort of peeled away, chipped away type thing. Um, so it just makes it a bit more realistic. Now, that's basically it. Uh, I hope this has been a help to you, and thanks for watching.